Hello folks and welcome to the 23rd of 72 etudes on the 72 rosé etudes. This is number 23 of 40 and uh, like the previous etude this is very much staccato as well although you do have to contend, contend with uh, a two flats key signature and often um, a lot more flats than just the two flats we go. We go into a little bit of D flat major here and there. So uh, Really, the, the big part is the staccato at rocks along at 88, um, which is quite fast. So, that, which is about 132 uh, if you're talking four semiquavers. <laughs> um, suppose one of the harder bits is in the fourth line. <laughs> because it's not quite a scale and it's not quite a chromatic so you've got to watch that and then in the next line but really the main um, difficulty is the huge three octave run and then towards the end it's quite difficult, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take it. It's 72 for the purposes of this masterclass, and uh, let's see how we go with that. So um, we start on a top B flat. Make sure the jaw's relaxed for that. Don't pinch it. It'll come out anyway. <laughs> And those four notes there should be really short because you've got the um, you've got the wedge on them. And again, there's difficulty there because it's not quite a scale and it's not quite an arpeggio. And uh, the most difficult thing for me is going from the E flat to the C. It can be a little bit um, can be a little bit blurred sometimes. So make sure that's really clean. Um, and take that slowly. And then we keep going with that sort of little motif. So that's pretty straightforward. You do need a very light tongue. And then um, and then here comes the uh, not quite scale, not quite chromatic, which is sort of based around D flat. And here, make sure that the half arpeggios are clean. I actually emphasize the last four semiquavers of the sextuplet given that they're tongued and that makes them come out a lot clearer. Now here's the hardest bit, this three octave scale mostly tongued day um, going, practice this slowly and then gradually work it up to tempo. So, and make sure you keep up the support through the um, altissimo. So actually keep up the support right through. Um, 
And if you have to emphasize the first note of each sextuplet, and then we're back into the beginning again. And also make sure you differentiate between the forte and the piano. Make sure that the E flat to the C is clean and that you don't bite too much on the A. And also make sure it's clean from the E flat to the C again. So that's the main difficulties with the piece. It's, this isn't a very long masterclass because the piece isn't all that long. But the main thing is uh, take note of the half scale, half chromatic and also the half um, arpeggios as well. Make sure the tonguing is clear. Uh, start slowly. So start at 72. <laughs> and then gradually work it up to speed. So that's all I have on this um, particular A2. Please join me for number 24. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>